Well, good morning, friends. It is about 7.30 in the morning, and it's already shaping up to be a bit of a crazy day. Um, we have a new puppy. Not counting the eight puppies that we already have, my husband bought another puppy. So, um, this morning, that puppy woke up screaming her head off. I'm not a big puppy fan just gonna say it you probably think I'm a very mean person however I have dealt with so many puppies with just all of the dogs that have come in and out of our life currently in our house right now we have 14 14 dogs nine of whom are puppies they're messy they're stinky and they make a lot of racket and they quite frankly ruin my very peaceful existence and yes, this is a rant. So anyways, um, Shane gets up to leave about 5.30 in the morning and he um, airs all the dogs out and feeds them and, you know, takes gets them all settled for the day. And this puppy was just a mess when he left, just barking and yapping and like crazy. So I put her in with all of the other puppies hoping that that would settle her down and quiet her because she would have some company. Um, and it did for about five minutes, and then she has been screaming ever since. Um, just the past two minutes, she quieted down. However, my in-laws are going to be here in just a few minutes. I'm expecting them at any moment. They're coming to take the eight puppies, our original puppies, down a couple hours away to have their eyes checked um, so that they can be certified that they're good eyes and there's no issues so um, yeah yeah so that puppy the new one her name's Sophie um, I know she's gonna start screaming again and I have to leave in a few minutes to take the kids to school it's just gonna be one of those days so yeah, I'm just afraid the neighbors are going to complain because she's so, so loud. Um, and I know that uh, you can hear her through the walls. And I think my in-laws are here. So, that's my morning. I hope yours is going so much better. The stress level of that moment when my in-laws were here getting the puppies was about a thousand. It was awful. Colt was crying like crazy because he wanted his grandma. Um, and she's being so gracious and sweet and kind to him, but he just, he's a little like a bulldog or a pit bull that just latches onto something and won't let it go. And he was screaming and crying. And um, my father-in-law is loading eight puppies into two large kennels. Um, and we had 15 minutes before we needed to leave for school. Aubrey needed to, Colt and Aubrey both still needed to get dressed. I was making <laughs> Aubrey's lunch. Okay. Um, and my in-laws went out the back door and the dogs out in the back kennel just went ballistic. They're usually very quiet, very well behaved dogs, but if someone comes in their yard or, um, something like that they go nuts and so they just went ballistic and it was a really stressful 20 minutes like oh my gosh and then um it's raining and pouring the house is covered in footprints and our um dog b the mom of the puppies was going a little crazy because she saw her puppies leaving it was a, a mess y'all like i hope that is the most <laughs> stressful thing I have to deal with today so it's out of the system. The good news is is that Sophie, the loud puppy is quiet and the dogs outside are quiet. Um, and when I say outside dogs we have a very large kennel. Like it's it's about the size of my kitchen. It's very big. Um, there's an enclosure. It's like three walls with a roof. Um, there's benches in there and hay and a dog kennel for them to like a dog house for them to be in and um, so yeah so they're not like chained to a tree or anything like that it's like a it's a nice thing anyways I'm sorry to unload all of that on you this morning um, my hope and always with my channel and with um, 
any content that I give you, it's that it, it is encouraging to you where you're at. But in doing Vlogmas, I had to be honest with myself that there are going to be moments that are crazy and ugly because that is just life sometimes. Um, and to share with you snippets of that uh, so that you don't think that I have some perfect life, which I'm sure you don't, but um, sometimes uh, we can just tend to show our highlight reel. And I just, I don't want to do that here. Um, so anyways, we are getting settled into our morning. Um, I realized something, and this will be a bit of a tip for you. And maybe you already do this. Um, but when I got home today and I saw that my kitchen was covered in muddy footprints and boot footprints, um, like from paw prints and boot prints, I realized I've got to tweak something in my morning routine. And I realized that when I come home from dropping off Aubrey at school, I need to mop my kitchen. Mopping my floors, doing my floors, is my most dreaded chore. I, I would rather clean the toilet than to clean my floors. I, I know. It's just, it's my thing. Um, but I realized I love having clean floors so much that I will implement this into my routine. And I think, I feel like I have to. And so when I set my mind up and I think that, okay, this is just going to be part of the day, it's going to take a couple minutes, and then it's done, the floors are clean, I don't have to worry about little hands and little feet um, and little bums sitting and being on those floors, that they're clean. Um, and then if I just roll that into my day, then it's already taken care of and I, have to, and I can take the stress off of myself. Um, fretting and being frustrated that the floors are dirty. It's just it's just part of the routine. So um, I'm going to get that taken care of. I'm going to get Colt set up. He usually um, in the morning likes to have Land Before Time on, which is so strange because I remember watching that as a kid. Um, and he likes to have that as some background noise while he plays. And we're going to get on with this day. So during my breakfast, I went ahead and kind of put a rough draft together of what I'm thinking we'll do for Christmas dinner. Um, I'll, of course, have to talk with my mother-in-law um, about dinner, um, but I just kind of wanted to put um, something together. Last year, the way that we worked um, Christmas is that my in-laws and, you know, my sister-in-law, um, they all came over in the morning uh, to watch the kids open their gifts and then we had a big breakfast and then they went home and they got ready for the day um, opened some of their presents with my brothers-in-law because um, uh, you know they, they didn't want to come over or they were sleeping it just whatever <laughs> um, and then they um, came back later in the afternoon so we had some lunch. We mostly had kind of appetizers, and then we do um, our Christmas meal for um, dinner. So, yeah. So I just put together some things um, that I think would be good, kind of some of our favorites that we always have. Um, I always want a ham uh, for, um, what do you call it, Christmas. Um, but my brother-in-law is a Muslim, and so um, they can't eat pork. So um, we usually have a turkey as well. And then there's some other family members who don't care for ham. Uh, so we'll both we'll have a ham and turkey. Um, I will for sure cook the ham. And my mother-in-law, um, she cooks a good turkey. So she cooked it last year. So I don't know. We'll see if she'll do it this year. Um, and then, of course, we'll do some corn um, stuffing. I was thinking of doing a cornbread stuffing, but my mom always had this recipe that was so delicious, and um, it had sage in it, and I don't know, it was all just, she never had a recipe, she just kind of put it together, but I always, it's just something that I associate with, um, with Thanksgiving and with Christmas, so anyways, I'm going to see if I can find some sort of a good stuffing recipe. Then this sweet potato casserole, and this is my signature recipe, um, and my brother-in-law absolutely, well, both my brother-in-laws absolutely love it, the whole family does, like, it's just so stinking good, so a holiday can't go by without having um, the sweet potato casserole, 
And then I want to attempt to make some homemade rolls. And there is a recipe for Amish rolls that I think I want to go ahead and try. I'll probably give this a go before Christmas so that Christmas Day I'm, you know, not screwed because I can't make rolls well. Um, and then we'll have mashed potatoes. I'm going to do the Pioneer Woman uh, recipe for mas mashed potatoes. And this is a family favorite um, from my growing up days called foam. Um, and there's two different recipes. One's for foam and then one's, I don't, I don't remember what it's called. But um, anyways, the recipe I'm thinking has like a sp pistachio um, jello. No, pistachio pudding, not jello. Um, and some pistachios. I don't know. It's really good. I'll, I can't think of what it is, but it's really good. And we had it at, like, all the holidays. Um, then, of course, a relish tray, some deviled eggs, cranberry sauce. And then I think I need some sort of veggie. Um, I don't know what, but a veggie. And then, so for lunch, we'll just do appetizers. I'm thinking um, a cheese ball and a hot dip. Um, I have a recipe from Epicure for their three cheese dip. It's so stinking delicious and it's a hot dip. So probably do that. Um, millionaire dip. Um, and then we get these, we call them meats, but they're like um, hard salamis from Costco. And there's three different varieties in a pack. So we'll slice some of those up. Um, cheese, some crackers, of course, for the dips. And then chips and dip, and then maybe barbecued meatballs. Um, we'll have like a really big breakfast as well, so this will just be kind of some snacky foods. And there will be a lot of us here, so there are um, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's at least, I think if I'm counting right, there's at least ten of us. Um, and then there may be more. We never, we never know. We don't want anybody to be without a spot to go. So minimum 10, maybe more. Um, and then so for drinks, um, we'll do some wassail. Our family loves Pepsi. I don't drink it anymore. I miss it. But um, we'll do Pepsi and then I'll have juice for the kids, um, which is a treat. They rarely get juice. So it's a holiday so they can have some juice. Of course, we'll have water and... If I don't do juice for the kids, I might make a punch instead, and the kids could have the punch. Um, so, anyways, I just uh, went ahead and put that together. Of course, things may change, but that's just kind of a rough draft, and will give me something to go off in the next few weeks as we tweak things and as we start to get the ingredients for all of these meals. asking to go into the tub. Uh, yesterday afternoon I gave him a bath. I don't usually give him a bath in the afternoon but he needed one because he had missed his bath for a couple days so he played in the tub for I don't know probably like 45 minutes or so long so he's been asking all morning to go into the tub so that's what he's doing. Um, he's gonna have a little soak, play with his toys and then after that we will get him down for a nap. So I'm in the midst of cooking dinner. Um, as you can see, at my counter is full of stuff. I am working on Colt's Christmas tree while I am making dinner. I should be doing the dishes, but I really want to get this done before he goes to bed. So his tree has kind of been the same every year. Um, he has sort of this like red and lime green and white theme. And I have this pom-pom garland. I think it's from Michael's a couple years ago. I'm not 100%. Um, I just have this red bead garland from my mother-in-law. This little tree. Oops, hold on. Um, so I've got this strand of lights here. And they are these peppermints. Um, however, this original strand of lights burned out. And it was on a white string. And unfortunately, all I could find is a dark green string. So I load this thing up with ornaments so that it doesn't really show through. Um, and also, there is a strand of these clear balls. Now, these all pull off. The peppermints, like that. These peppermints, um, and they just kind of slide onto the light. Sorry about that. Okay, we'll work with that one later. Um... But anyways, yes, so they all kind of um, 
slide onto the lights so I'm kind of just interspersing those and then inside here I've got all of his ornaments so um, jingle bells and you know different colored balls and then this is his tree skirt and again most of this all came from Target and Michaels I do have this ribbon and I was hoping to kind of work it into the tree but the way that these branches are they aren't they don't move uh, very well they're kind of uh, just stay in place and so it was just getting difficult to try and wrap this ribbon around the tree and make it look pretty it's a little bit harder to do with a smaller tree so anyways this is kind of what it's looking like at this point So Aubrey had asked if she could go on her phone um, and she said to me, Mommy, I'm going to calm myself down and then I see her doing this kids yoga. So I just love seeing this, um, I don't know, different facets of her personality and how she's kind of taking care of herself. That was totally unprompted by me and I love that she's stretching her body and slowing herself down and getting excited about exercise so that's a win in my book so this is Colt's mini tree I always just love it it's just so traditional with the green and the red and the white um, he's got this little um, choo-choo train ornament. He's obsessed with trains right now. And he actually picked this out of the ornament box and it matched perfectly with his decor. So I thought, you know, let's just set it up in his room. And then he's got his um, Countdown Christmas Scentsy Warmer, which is one of my all-time favorite warmers. Okay, you. And he's got this RV Scentsy Warmer. It's not on, I just don't have enough outlet space for it. Um, and then there is this little gold, um, green glitter uh, Christmas tree that I got from Hobby Lobby. And that is the setup on his dresser.